Hey, and welcome back to this week's video. This time I'm going to show you how to build a pitch deck in Notion. So just last week, uh, a friend of mine was sending over a link for an angel round that he was doing. And instead of sending out a regular pitch deck, he was sending out a Notion file. And that was really, really cool because he stands out from the crowd, but also a Notion page gives the opportunity to give more detailed background on certain things of your startup and business endeavor. So I thought I'd take some time today to also create a Notion pitch deck and everything that you can see here now and a template um, can be downloaded, duplicated from the description below. So try it out for yourself and build your own pitch deck in Notion. But let's jump right in. So in general, I think the structure of a Notion pitch deck should be the same as with every other pitch deck. So investors are used to reading about the problem, the solution, but also things like the market and the, the team later on. And we should stay inside of these like boundaries because it makes it easier for the investor to um, understand what your business is about, but also compare it to other decks that he or she has on the table. And the thing with Notion is that we can give like more context in terms of like we can link out to other pages. We can also use toggles to give more information. And I think this is a really, really cool way to uh, use Notion instead of a regular pitch deck. So let's jump right into my example here. So Magic Design is a company of ours that we just recently created. And I would start off by customizing the header and the logo, and then start out with talking about Magic Design's angel round. You can include a confidentiality notice um, because I don't want this document to be sent out to everyone out there, but it's almost the same with any kind of pitch deck. You never know what the in investors will do. And then I want to start out with a big high level summary. So what is magic design about? And for us, it's about like, you have all your design tasks for one fixed monthly price. And then I have a short description that elaborates a little bit more on that, as well as our main vision. And this can be also very, very specific. So for example, instead of just saying magic design empowers every business to have standout design, we can say, Till 2025, we want to empower 1,000 businesses or 10,000 businesses. So this should be really on point so that the investor is eager to learn more in the document below. After that, we are going over to the problem stage. And as you can see, these are all elements that you can edit. You can use your own icons and it almost looks like a pitch deck slide. The good thing is, if there is some additional user research, for example, that you did, you can always try to link certain um, um, words here out to a website or also another page inside your Notion document. And this is really, really cool because it's almost like an opt-in that an investor can take to learn more about certain things he's interested in. And that helps also to um, not answer the same questions over and over again. So problem is done. After that, we are moving over to the solution. In our case, it's really, really simple, three easy steps. You can include mockups here. You can also include videos here, and I will come to that in a second. But also just keep it as simple as in a pitch deck and um, yeah, give some context about your solution. On the product side of things, so what I did here, and this is very, very cool, I just recorded a Loom video of a walkthrough through the product and embedded it in our product tab here. But still, I could um, list up all the features that you can also see on the website and that are really, really interesting for our customers. After that, we are moving over to the market. So investors love big markets and they love also um, startups that understand in which kind of markets they are um, operating. So for us, I thought it would be cool to talk about our current ideal customer. So Seed and Series B, like Seed to Series B startups, 10 to 100 FTE and SMBs. And I'm also using two toggles here because on the one hand, I want to talk about the German market that we are focusing on first, but also I can give more context on the European market. And always keep in mind that you can include any kind of images, videos, links, and research here. And the investor can decide for themselves if they want to read about it or just like keep the, like the toggle closed. In terms of business model, I created the simple pricing page here that shows our three uh, plans that we have, design, design plus Webflow and enterprise. And I'm also giving a small 
um, background information on our operations. You could even include some kind of like um, cost of goods sold or um, a page that talks about your margins and how you operate in the background. But as this is like a very, very early stage um, angel round, I decided to keep it very, very high level. The next cool thing is around competition. So you can either use the basic competition slides or descriptions as you have in the most pitch decks, but I thought it would be cool to list out the competitors here also with links so that the investor can go to the website directly, talk about the focus, so in which um, geographies they are operating, and then use some kind or create some kind of like table style where you can say, okay, look, this is the price point, this is the quality, and you can use the select feature of Notion here really, really easily. And you can also add some kind of description on your personal take on this competitor. And the best thing is you can even create an additional page that talks about why magic design is better than SuperSide, for example. Um, obviously, you can also build a kind of like um, comparison table where you can also include your business here and then use check marks to talk about the features that you have and the others don't have. Um, yeah, and in this case, I'm also adding some context on why we don't care about most of the competitors here because they are operating in the US or on a global level. And for us, it's more about the German market first and it's not a winner takes it all business. So uh, we are really, really good off. In terms of go to market, really, really interesting for every investor. So how will you actually win your customers? For us, it's three main things. First of all, cold sales outreach, second up, network and partner, and third up, side product-led growth. And what I'm doing here, I'm talking about it really, really briefly. Um, so what we are going to do, and then I'm also adding our current successes, so metrics for the cold sales outreach, but also I'm adding the partners that we have already won, and an investor can always click out to them, learn more about this, and this is really, really cool. Then we are moving over to the traction. My favorite slide or my favorite section in this kind of Notion file. You can include um, Excel sheets, you can include images, whatever you like. This is really, really cool. Um, multimedia here in Notion. And then I have my main traction metrics on the right. Furthermore, I built a really, really cool team slide here. So you can link out to your LinkedIn, Twitter, um, whatever you like. And then last but not least, the ask. So how much money are you raising? What are you using it for and where will the money get you? And don't um, let the investor slip. So make sure to always add a call to action in the end where they can contact you right away um, through email, through LinkedIn or whatever. And yeah, one final goodie is what I would do. Um, in most fundraisers that I did in the past, I was always getting the same kind of questions. So you can also include a, um, um, FAQ down here. So you could say, okay, we are doing an FAQ and you can create a toggle list and an, a question from an investor could be is um, how big is your margin? And if you get this question the first time, you can answer it here in detail, just add it to the FAQs and every other investor afterwards can now read it. And that saves you a ton of time and also improves the quality of your answers. So I hope you liked this little walkthrough through my Notion pitch deck. Um, as I said, in the description below, you can copy, duplicate this kind of file and build the pitch deck for your own. Let me know how it goes and comment below if you have built something um, yeah, outstanding that I should take a look at. Talk to you soon. Bye.